This demo is on Brocade's DHCP client-based auto configuration and flash image update. This feature gives you the ability to automatically upgrade and provision a brand new switch. In my setup, I have three devices. I have a DHCP server, which I'm using a switch for. I have a TFTP server, which I have two main files. One is the new image, which the new switch is going to be upgraded to. And the second is the configuration file that's automatically going to be pulled down by the new switch. The bottom right is the new switch, which is also an ICX6450. The catch here, you just have to make sure that you're using the management port to connect into the network. And currently it's running the 7.4e version and it has no configuration file. In my DHCP server, the configuration is as follows. You see it on the top left. Uh, I enabled a DHCP globally. I created a pool called Sterling. The boot file is the image that I want to push down to the new switch. Here is the pool range that I'm using. And here is the IP address of the DHCP server. And the way I tie this pool to a VLAN is that the VE for that VLAN falls within that range. All right, I just switched over to the new switch. I'll show you here that it is running version 7.4e. There is no configurations. And on the flash, the primary image is 7.4e. On my TFTP server, I have two main files. One, the top one is the file name that the switch is going to be looking for on the TFTP server. And what it looks for is its host name followed by its MAC address. So if that's sitting on your TFTP server, the switch will know that's the configuration that it needs to pull down. Here is the image that the new switch will be upgraded to. And what I'll do now is I'll reload the switch. the bottom left I have my TFTP server which I'll start and on the right is my Wireshark so you'll see that uh, the whole handshake for DHCP and you'll see a request to TFT from the TFTP server its image and also its config file so I'll pause the video here as it reboots all right the reboot process is almost complete You should see the DACP request go out in a few seconds. There it goes. And now it should start downloading the image, the new image, and there it goes. You see it at the bottom. All right, while this process happens, it takes a few minutes, so I'm going to pause the video here. So the process is almost complete. The switch downloaded its image, the 74F image, and it rebooted, and it's coming up on 74F. If you look on the right hand side, you'll see that it's going to request a DHCP IP address again and it will pull down its image and you'll notice that on the bottom left. And what you notice here, it pulled down the configuration file. And if you look here, you see that my host name changed. I created a few VLANs default gateway and you will notice here the show version it will show that it did get upgraded to the 7.4 F version if you look at the flash the 7.4 F was installed into the primary flash location well that is it um, I hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching